Hey, it says what? Thanks for stopping by my channel. It means a lot to me when you watch my videos, leave me a like and a comment, and when you subscribe to my channel. I thought I would showcase some accessories that I've had for a while but haven't used. This is part of Accessory August. And I'm not sure why I haven't used them yet. Well, I probably do know why. But the first is my totally cute Kenzie crossbody. Probably had this for six to eight years. Um, it's such a cute pattern. It's called the Whimsy pattern. It has um, Dooney and Burke written here, as well as the gold patch. Look how cute this is. You can see it better on the back. And I love the red tassel. This is about five and a half inches high, two inches deep at its widest point and eight inches long. And it has a zipper top and a shoulder strap that's about 26 inches long. just a two-parter so I don't think you could make it a short shoulder but the strap is detachable and you can shorten it a little bit the Kenzie has a large slip pocket in the front and a zipper pocket in the back with the key keeper. So my cell phone that is about three by six does not fit in the pockets, but it does fit inside. Now I bought this to use as a pouch inside larger bags. I never found a larger bag that um, I liked in this pattern, but it's so cute. I wish Dooney would bring it back. I still have the tags on it. it looks like I did unwrap the strap at some point. And, um, Oh, the straps attach on uh, each side, you know, like the catty corner thing, but there are separate loops for the straps. And it would make a cute clutch, I think. So I mentioned I know why I haven't used this as a catch-all in my bags is sometime after I bought this, Target came out with these Ruby and Cash pouches that I just prefer to use. Um, these are really easy for me to use. Or if I need a smaller pouch or a cosmetic case, I really like the size of these ones from Dooney and Burke. You know, the wider bottom the tape, you know, the tapers up. This is a great size for me as well. But um, these also work really great for me. So um, I think that's why I haven't used it. But I kind of bought into the pipe of the Lexi especially when this DB75 pattern was available. This is the Lexi crossbody. I'll put the measurements on the screen. But you can see it's roughly 
the same size as the Kenzie. And I bought this with the intention of cutting off the strap. The Lexi is cool because it has um, built-in card slots as well as a slip pocket in the back. It's just so cute and I love the braided zipper pull there. But um, the strap is not removable. And I think I said I bought this with the intention of cutting off the strap, but I'm not looking to go to Dooney Jail by cutting off the strap. I know Dooney Attic 615, Ola May, and Phoebe's Corner have cut off the straps of their Lexi and they're very happy with the results. I just am afraid I'll regret it. Go to Dooney Jail. <laughs> but this is so cute. That didn't stop me from buying another one. I bought the Art Deco Lexi and I don't know why, <laughs> but this pattern, I just love it. I got this on clearance at Dillard's. It came um, already unwrapped and everything. It was already unwrapped in the store and um, still has the tag attached. <laughs> Caught in 4K with the tag attached. This one is so beautiful with the, the kettle leather trim. So I guess that's it. Now you see my deepest, darkest secrets. Three bags or accessories I've never used that are in my collection. Let me know what you think. Do you have the Kenzie or the Lexi? I'd love to hear from you. Take care, everyone.